Tried a new protein bar today. Did you? Real nice. Tastes lovely for a protein bar. Great nutritional content. Got something very interesting in them, which are prebiotics, which are very good for your digestive system. What I've found is if you're not used to them... Do a little cleansing. Yes. How many times have you had to wipe the toilet? There's been a few occasions since about two o'clock this afternoon where I've had the urge. The urge? The urge. All right, so you're getting the bad effect, not the good effect. Scientifically, it's a good effect. I have have been assured it will stabilize. However, whilst the body adjusts to 17 grams of uh, prebiotic fiber, there may be some muddy water spilt. According to another scientist, uh, this is one of the most pleasurable experiences that a human being can have, sometimes topping the list of all pleasurable experiences. What? Sneezing whilst having an orgasm? They reckon the orgasm is pretty lo uh, closely, well, the sneeze, I should say, is closely linked to the orgasm. And if you manage to get two at, uh, at one time, I mean, that's like double whammy right there. I don't know if that's scientifically possible, because when you sneeze, don't the muscles contract? If you're in mid-force, you know, you've got everything working up, and then all of a sudden the factory's just shoving out soldiers one after another, and then you sneeze, and your body's going, keep it in. Two opposite forces, man. Well, the Japanese perfected one half of that. They had a method of self-control where they could manipulate the various sphincters involved so that at the point of release, they could actually tense the um, sphincters so that what would actually happen is that you'd backfire the soldiers into the bladder. You speak of the Japanese and their methods. What about the yogis and their methods of being able to force yourself, or not force yourself, I should say, but actually bring yourself to an orgasm without ever touching yourself? Does this fall under the bracket of tantric? I, well, you know, I think they're the ones that created it. So, you know, I don't want to I don't want to uh, get in down the realm of talking out of my ass. <laughs> That's another interesting technique. Half the time I fucking don't know which side I'm talking from, but I think I've got a pretty good idea. You know, you, you, you get into this point where all of a sudden you find yourself not knowing whether you're speaking or shitting. Coming or going. Laughing or crying. I've found both today. Now that's interesting. Definitely both. The laugh is on the release. The crying is when you're wiping your ass for the 30th time. It doesn't matter how much soft toilet paper you've got. How much you... I mean, shit, that stuff could have been made out of silk. By the time that you've flushed your system that much, you're pretty much crying. <laughs> You know, there's a thing called a bidet. Obviously, you know this because you're French. <laughs> no. Why doesn't America have bidets? Well, you know why, because you pronounce it wrong. If you went into a shop and said, oh, come, sorry, could I have a bidet? It's a bidet. Well, you know, here we go again. I'm going to go as far as to say the founding fathers knackered up the bidet situation for you. Regardless, in America and in your part of the world, you should all have bidets because... I love that American attitude. In your part of the world. In America and then the rest of the world, which is generally your part of the world. Because, no, A, I'm French, and the rest of the world is my part of the world. Yeah, and that's why nobody likes the French. How rude. Hey, I don't mean to step on your crepes. My what? Your crepes. Don't you have crepes? Your, your interesting situation that you've just arose to wiping for the 30th time in a day, which is obviously... No, 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 that's not what I've just arose to. I arose to the way, the, the fact that you said crepes. That, that arose me. Oh, well, you know, that's a good awakening right there. Especially for for you people in your part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the matter in my hand. As opposed to the matter that I've been flushing down the toilet, but yes, carry on. That would be dark matter. Yeah, actually, it's been very dark. It's been quite concerning. You would be a hell of a lot better off with a bidet, because you wouldn't be wiping 30 times, you'd be rinsing 30 times. And a rinse, as we all know, is cleaner and more effective at leaving the skin on your asshole. Don't take a rinsing off, Master. You never know what you release. There is no such thing as catch and release in this game. I beg to differ. 
Where will it go from here? Will the hooker with a penis survive? Will Fogg have that rash forever? Follow us next time.